And now we would go at, into the uh, regional presentations and I would ask my colleague Shritu uh, to share with us the experience on implementing electric mobility in Asia. Shritu, if you. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone, as, uh, as uh, Sunny said, uh, wherever you are coming from. So I'm Shritu Shrestha from Bhupatal Institute, a part of uh, Asia team coordinating activities uh, in Asian cities, uh, mainly in uh, Hanoi in, in Vietnam, Pasig in, uh, Pasig, uh, in, in Philippines, uh, Kathmandu in Nepal. Um, so I'm, I'm going to uh, brief you the activities in each of the cities uh, under Solutions Plus. Um, firstly, I will start with Hanoi. Um, Hanoi is the capital of Vietnam and has a population of uh, 8 million with the urbanization rate of over 40 uh, percent. Um, regarding the transport sector, the city uh, currently faces the twofold problem. Uh, firstly, the inadequate public transport system unable to meet the demand uh, from the fast growing population. And secondly, the large amount and the increasing number of fossil fuel powered vehicles, uh, especially two wheelers, uh, which cause uh, traffic congestion. The city's air quality uh, is also getting extremely and progressively getting poor, uh, caused by the significant emission of exhaust gases and fine dust particulars, uh, particular, uh, particulate matter uh, from fossil fuel engine. Um, so that's why. Um, uh, discussing about the uh, Hanoi Green Transport Initiative. So to, to tackle that problem, um, uh, so beside um, Vietnam's NDC target for greenhouse reduction by 2030, the country has, um, has the regulation on the application of uh, emission standards for automobiles. Uh, noteworthy is the Hanoi's, uh, Hanoi City's initiative to reduce uh, traffic congestion and environmental pollution through, the re through restricting motorbikes by 2030 and also prioritizing more public transport. Um, in order to support this, we have developed a demonstration action in Hanoi uh, by developing a shared two-wheelers for last mile connectivity, uh, which includes 50 e-mopeds and 10 e-bikes, um, along with the user application and interface and the uh, accompanying uh, backend, backend service. Uh, for this, we are working with the University of Transport Technology in Hanoi as a local partner and selected local startup uh, Kik uh, Elevate Mobility. Uh, the shared E2 wheelers uh, will provide uh, services uh, between uh, the BRT system and the shopping mall at the range of two kilometers as shown here. Um, so this will be the first phase of two kilometers. So regarding the type of vehicles, we plan to use e-moped from Vietnamese company Vinfast and the e-bike from Kik which has already been uh, tried in another city in, in Vietnam. Uh, to support the SARE system, the local startup Kik is supporting in the development of VShare app uh, that includes services such as uh, booking and returning of vehicles, uh, monitoring of batteries, as well as a vehicle communi communication unit to, uh, to connect a vehicle networking system. Um, on the development of the, so the development of this v, uh, VShare app is ongoing uh, uh, with, with our startup. Um, so with uh, discussing about the ongoing activities, uh, UTT is also carrying out the stakeholders consultation uh, with the key stakeholders such as Hanoi Department of Planning and Architecture, um, the Hanoi Department of Transport, police, uh, police uh, to uh, for the traffic police. Uh, so they, they have been uh, consulting with the stakeholders before the launch of this uh, of the demonstration for the smooth operation um, on ground. Um, as a coming as a coming up activities, uh, UTT is also in the process to procure e mopeds from Vinfas. Uh, and uh, as if everything goes well, the launch of the share system is planned later this year. Uh, moving on to PASIC, our second city in Solutions Plus. Uh, so PASIC is, also, is, a, is a part of Metro Manila with a population of around 755,000. 
considering the urban uh, passenger service, uh, due to the inadequate and low service quality of public transport, there is an increase in private uh, vehicles, mainly two-wheelers, at the growth rate of uh, 19% per year. Uh, likewise, there is a significant growth in the demand of urban deliveries and, in general, urban good movements uh, in, in the city, which, uh, so you can see uh, here recently higher during the pandemic. Uh, so the urban good movements heavily relied on conventional truck as well as vehicle, uh, not intent for the transport of goods. Um, so with this all uh, urban passenger and urban goods movement ser services or which which you could say like inefficient, there is an adverse effect uh, can be seen uh, with the increase in vehicular emission and the air pollution with uh, traffic congestion. However, in the city, uh, the the e-mobility, although it had started, uh, this has been uh, particularly pretty slow. Uh, here are some of the policy support uh, policies that support e-mobility in the country or the cities, uh, sort of, uh, such as incorporate e-mobility consideration into green uh, building ordinance, and and PASIC is also developing e-mobility uh, roadmap. I'll not go into much detail on this. Uh, just jumping uh, around, uh, into the demonstration action uh, to support this to support the e-mobility. Um, and in PASIC, uh, we are developing shared e-mobility for cargo and passenger service uh, with the development of low-cost, multi-purpose uh, smart e-quadricycles, um, as well as uh, the accompanying uh, uh, user application uh, monitoring and decision support system and charging facility. Uh, the, the main goal of this project in PASIC is to uh, appropriately fit the demonstration into the glaring gap in urban transportation uh, to us transforming into the opportunity that we have seen or discussed earlier. Uh, so we saw that there is a huge timely opportunity to contribute to us the transform transformation by testing out an innovative e-vehicle sharing uh, concept. Um, so this vehicle will also feature European components such as Valio uh, Motors, which is also a partner company, uh, partner uh, in Solutions Plus. And also we are looking into potential integration of uh, second life batteries uh, with the uh, EU uh, um, uh, SMEs. Um, so for this demo, we are working with uh, Pacific City Government uh, and, um, and Philpost as a local partner and Tojo Motors as a selected local startup. Uh, with our local uh, startup, we are developing the design, prototyping, and pre-production pre of equals uh, that are optimized for local needs and context, um, as well as they have initiated the dem uh, design process for the vehicle uh, prototype uh, sharing platform um, opera operators decision support system um, uh, so this is a, a, a first uh, shot of the vehicle design that has been developed uh, for the multi uh, uh, multi use or shared system for a uh, passenger and, and urban uh, uh, urban good services. Um, so the other ongoing activities in, in PASIC includes uh, cooperation with uh, another project focusing on development of locally optimized uh, EVAD by Philippine De uh, Department of Science and Technology. There has been also engagement with and support to the PASIC City e-mobility steering committee. Um, and also regarding the upcoming activities, uh, the, after the completion of the design and the prototype processes, uh, there will be development of demo and setting up uh, of the on-ground pilot test system. Now I move on to Kathmandu. Uh, so Kathmandu um, is the capital of Nepal and has a population of 2.5 million. Um, I'll just start with the modes of public transport in Kathmandu, which includes uh, bus, minibuses, microbuses, electric, um, uh, eat, uh, or, or three wheelers. Um, so, regarding the public transport, some of them are poorly maintained or are old. Uh, and also, uh, the service quality is also low and inadequate. Uh, so as shown in the graph here, uh, there is, there, this has created a situation of increased uh, private vehicles, mainly two-wheelers, as, as you have heard in Pasig and Hanoi. 
so, and then there is also, after that, there's the increase of uh, four wheelers or cars. So just these two ports constitute like 78% of vehicle fleet uh, that accommodated just 10% of daily trips. Uh, the vehicle traffic is growing at the rate of 18% and the share of public transport is, is quite low, which is up to like 27% of the total trip. So as a result, uh, vehicular emission are around 38% of total emission uh, in Kathmandu, and that has a major uh, health impact uh, for the residents in Kathmandu. Um, in that case, um, uh, there is also a huge potential of e-mobility in Kathmandu, also taking a note that the major electricity in Nepal is from hydropower. Um, uh, so, re uh, regarding the support for the or supporting key policies for EVs in Nepal, uh, I will not go through much in details, but there has been some, some supporting policies such as periodic plan of local government, uh, fiscal policy and incentives um, uh, for the import of EVs. Uh, there is also a reduced tariff for uh, charging of EVs, like not, night tariff is quite lower than the other part, uh, other time of the day. And, um, and also energy related policies by the national government. Uh, so the demonstration act, action in Kathmandu uh, is or is that a, that has the aim to support the ecosystem of electric mobility uh, to enhance public transport. Uh, for this, we have mainly uh, two demonstration components, uh, such as retrofitting diesel bus to e-bus, as well as redesigning E3 wheelers with modular concept uh, that has multi-purpose use. Uh, for this, we are working with Saza Yatayat, a semi-government public transport operator as local transport, uh, sorry, local uh, partner. Uh, regarding the uh, con uh, conversion of diesel bus to e-bus, which is the first of its kind tested in Kathmandu, the local company is uh, carrying out this uh, with the support of Solutions Plus Consortium, in which they are mainly replacing the drive system um, and, and it will be assembled locally. Uh, the city believes that the, the, the project has a high scale of potential and support and also support the uh, policy planning. Um, regarding the engagement of a local startup, we have two, two startups working on the, uh, the design of electric three wheelers. Uh, so basically they are designing, prototyping and pre-production of three wheelers. So here we have two types. The first is the uh, design of uh, uh, three wheelers, uh, like new design, a six-seater six uh, passenger service, and that will be, uh, can be converted into the waste collection and also for cargo. Um, and also we have, uh, uh, so we are also uh, uh, remodeling the existing uh, uh, three wheelers, which is Safa type. This has been uh, running in, in Kathmandu for over like 20 years, but uh, this had the, the, de the design has not been changed. And we are trying to remodel this, this Safa tempo also uh, with the multi-purpose functional uh, with three uh, services, passenger waste collection and cargo. Um, the ongoing or, or the this recent activity that we are having in Kathmandu are uh, so we have been collaborating with uh, with our uh, uh, solutions plus partners such as the Technical University of Denmark and Technical University of Berlin uh, with the engagement of students where in in, T, in DTU or the Technical University of Denmark uh, the, the students has uh, has worked on the promotion of e-mobility in Kathmandu as a part of BSc course. Uh, so they have developed uh, posters uh, uh, designed for for the for the options for the e-mobility in Kathmandu, um, and with, and also with the TU Berlin uh, designs, so they have developed a e-mobility sorry a mobility hub and charging infrastructure planning uh, for Kathmandu in the, in the selected area. Uh, the ongoing activities uh, with start of the detailed technical design of E3 uh, E3 wheelers prototype is uh, ongoing. Um, on the coming up, acti uh, uh, coming up activity, uh, 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 Saja, or, or our partner, is uh, procuring uh, e-bus conversion kit uh, soon, and then there is also uh, ongoing stakeholder consultation for the design optimization of E3 wheelers. Um, 
Uh, other activities on the regional level uh, for this our demonstration activities, we have also carried out the impact assessment of the demonstration activities and develop and planning to develop the scale up concept of those uh, demonstration activities. Um, there is also engagement with European industries in, in the component supply or the advisory services in the vehicle designs. Um, and also we are planning for a capacity building activities to various stakeholders. So the just to announce our coming of Asia regional training, uh, which is happening uh, next week on 19 to 21st of October. Um, I, will, I will place the link for you to register. Please feel free to register and also share it to your network. Um, the followed uh, after that, the, uh, the following Follow after the regional uh, training, there is a city specific training uh, for Kathmandu, Hanoi, and Pasig. Uh, so feel free to uh, register and also yeah, uh, learn about e mobility. Uh, with this, I thank, thank you for listening.